Scotty Pippen's return spells doom for the NBA. And the Bulls want to scare up another win as they open the West Coast trip in the big country against Sharif Abdur-Rahim and the Grizzlies. Coverage starts in the game room Tuesday night at 8.30 on Sports Channel. College UIC Flames look to wrap up a three-game road spell as they go for their sixth win in a row. The Flames are led by senior guard Mark Miller, the MCC scoring leader at 21 points per game. Another player putting up impressive numbers is senior forward Bryant Lowe, who's shooting 58% from the field. Ken Burmeister's Loyola Ramblers come into today's game, winners of six of their last nine. The Ramblers are led by Javen Goodman, the only MCC player who scored in double digits in every game this season. It's UIC on Loyola, next on Sports Channel. Teal Center on the campus of Loyola University of Chicago. Welcome in to Loyola basketball. This afternoon it's the UIC playing 15 and 3, 5 and 1 in the MCC, tied for first with Detroit, taking on the Ramblers. And they're 10 and 9, 2 and 3 in conference play. I get them one. Mark Pinsky alongside Jerry Harkness. Loyola 6 and 1 here at home. UIC meantime has won five consecutive basketball games. And they are led by Mark Miller. Once again, Jerry, Mark Miller having a great year. Absolutely having a great year. Matter of fact, Coach Jimmy Collins says he can go to the next level. He's consistent with his three-point shooting as well as his two-point shooting. And a key statistic that I really like about him, Mark, is that he has over five rebounds a game. And he's second on the team, which gives you the feel that he knows how where the ball is going to go and, and have the good feel for rebounding. UIC gets a great backcourt play also from Anthony Coombs. Coombs is excellent, gives them good leadership. Not only that, the one statistic there that I like about him is 103 assists to 42 turnovers, which is almost three to one. When you're doing that, you're doing very well. In the meantime, the Ramblers have won six of nine. They're led by Javen Goodman. He's in the top five of the MCC in terms of scoring as well as rebounding. Oh, what else can you say about Javen Goodman? He's another one that a lot of people feel can go to the next level. He has improved since the time I saw him as a freshman, especially with his outside shooting, and he's getting better and better with his dribbling. Now, Anthony Coombs today will match up against Mike Kerr. The freshman was huge in the Ramblers' loss earlier this week to Detroit. Oh, he got 22 points, and I tell you, the Ramblers are excited about this individual. Only a freshman, a walk-on, and he gets 22 against for the premier team in the MCC. All right, it's an intra-city battle. Loyola taking on UIC. We'll take a timeout right now. Starting lineup, also the national anthem featuring Wayne Mesmer. Planes and Ramblers straight ahead right here on Sports Channel. My love must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. Generation Next. Soon, only on CBS2 Chicago, you will witness the spectacle as Nagano opens its doors to the world and its athletes. Triumph, passion, glory. Feel the emotion, cherish the moment, catch the spirit. Here's to the 1998 Winter Olympic Games, only on CBS2 Chicago. Share a moment with the world. January 28th, 6 p.m. Witness sports television history. America's most powerful regional sports channels join forces to become Fox Sports Net. 66 professional home teams, national games of the week, shows with Fox Attitude, and Fox Sports News right after the game. National Network, Fox Attitude, on Fox Sports Chicago. 
while politicians try to reform health care, while too many students aren't getting the attention they deserve. Loyola is at work. While today's youth try to find their role in this world, while some talk about a committed cancer program, Loyola University Chicago, nationally recognized for education and health care, is making a difference. Loyola University Chicago, the experience at work. Sports Channel's coverage of Loyola basketball is brought to you in part by Pepsi, Generation Next, Harris Bank, helping you make better choices, CBS2 Chicago, Reebok, anything's possible, and by Nokia, a proud sponsor of the Midwestern Collegiate Conference. At the Joe Gentile Center here in Chicago, time now for our national anthem. Here is Wayne Messmer. Gentile Center for Midwestern Collegiate Conference men's basketball featuring the UIC Flames and your Loyola Ramblers. <laughs> At this time, I'd ask you to please rise and join Wayne Messmer, Loyola graduate, with the singing of our national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Champaign, Illinois, number 15, Anthony Coombs. On one forward position, a 6'6 junior from Athens, Greece, number 33, Constantine Stavropoulos. On one forward, a 6'5 senior from Kiro, Illinois, number 34, Brian Wool. And the center, a 6'9 junior from North Lake, Illinois, number 54, Anton Collins. The head coach of the Flames is Jimmy Collins. Assistants are Dick Nagy, Mark Coombs, and Gene Cross. Loyola all 
all-time 15 and 5 here at the, the Genteel Center. Kent Vermeister, the JX. And then mentioned David Edelman, the Ramblers coaching staff. Uh, Vermeister 1 and 5 all-time against UIC. And this is the 15th meeting between these two teams. UIC leads the series 9 to 5. The Flames have also won 6 of 7. Last year, UIC won here 87 to 64. And at UIC, the final was 53 to 50. Miller with 24 here. Uh, Mark had 22 at the pavilion. Your officials, Glenn Mayborg, Gene Crawford, and David Lanning. All set for basketball. UIC 15 and 3. The Ramblers are 10 and 9. Well, in maroon and gold. UIC wearing white. Javen Goodman, Anton Collins in the circle. And we are set for basketball. And Mark, you can throw out the record. This is going to be a bomb burner. Believe me. Ramblers win the opening tip. Earl Brown matched up against Mark Miller. Coons is guarding Hare. Theropolis uh, lines up against Damian McSwine. Earl Brown, the sophomore from De La Salle. You see that knee brace. He hyperextended his knee. And the Red Bulls turn it over in that game against Detroit on Monday. Yeah, he played very hard. He played over close to 30. Nine minutes in that game, and I tell you, he's put in a lot of minutes for that 160-pound plane. Brown did not practice all week until yesterday. That's the first time he saw the Gentile Center practice floor. Robles out of Athens, Greece. Now moves out of the corner and hits the side of the board. Daniel Bush clears. Good defense. Brown really fought through those kicks. He got a good, good move on it. hesitated a little bit instead of getting back and as a result the three-point play good move by the flames on this really good pass by miller it's right on the main see he hesitated just a little and got behind him low got behind him as a result the possibility of a three-point play oh six five a senior from cairo community college misses miller high for that rebound tries to keep alive and he ran out of room on the baseline. Out of bounds, too low. They're down 2 nothing early on. One thing that Coach Jimmy Collins likes about his team, 15-3, and three, the one thing he says that he is proud of, they play extremely hard. And you're getting a good indication today so far. Mix trying to work it up against the Rockless. Game and averaging 13 points, 4 rebounds a game. a little bit on, on the, on the uh, rebounding there, Jason. Jason. Two minutes gone. Flames up by two. They have the ball. Here's Anthony Coombs, who's ninth in scoring in the MCC. Second in assists. Also second in three-point field goal percentage as well as second in free throw percentage. He's shooting 45% from three-point range and only 39 from two-point. Here's Lowe from the baseline. Shot it hard. Gets his own rebound. Now Coombs to Servopolis. Should not have gotten that. If everybody's doing their job blocking out. Miller skips to Coombs. He'll try a three. Partially blocked, perhaps. And makes fine. Comes away with it. Well, it looks to run. Good defense by Daniel Bush. Race kicks it out to Goodman. Up top round, played by Coombs here. Put it in. And that'll be backcourt against Loyola. Rappers average 16 turnovers a game. They're second. The MCC in a 
assists at 15 per game. Struggling a little bit uh, right now, not both uh, starting a little cold, hasn't loosened up the Ramblers, but uh, the Flames a little bit better. They also are starting a little cold. Carlos Gallo in there for Loyola Jr. 6-5 out of Buenos Aires in Southeastern Illinois Junior College. 2-0 our score. We have played three minutes. Uh, both teams here to coming out a bit slow early on. Right. Offensive foul inside. Bryant Lowe, the illegal screen off the ball. Screening uh, for Miller to come around. You can see there, Jimmy Collins not that upset about it. There's the, there it is right there. Good call by the official. 2 nothing. our score. McSwine the throw in. UIC picks up goal. Carlos Gallo in the backcourt. It's Gallo, Brown, McSwine, the Bush, and Goodman. the Flames. You got to watch. They really get down the court fast after a basket. Moves out high to Serapolis. Inside now for low. Up top moves. They skip to Miller. He'll try a three. Yeah, Mark Miller knocks it down. Good ball move. Ball movement by the Flames. They just took their time, kept their composure, and got the open man, which was Miller in the corner. Flames are fifth in the country in three-point field goal percentage, 44%. Loyola in at 30%, eighth best in the MCC. Carlos Gallo off the right, now Goodman right at the key. And the leader is good, Javen his first field goal. That's one thing you can like about Javen, he'll give it to you on the inside, but they really put the pressure on him on the inside, he'll bring it out. And Miller getting two times off the right by Coons. Coons a senior from Champaign Central High School. Cranford here with his father, now an assistant coach, out of Wabash Valley. Foul on Carlos Gallo. It'll be out of bounds to UIC. When we come back, a timeout. We are tied at 5, 15.32 remaining. Cap number one from the Joe Gentile Center. Men, is gray hair sneaking up on you? Right under your nose, making you look too old? Whoa, it is sneaking up on me. Up here, too. You need Just For Men gel, made for the hard-to-color gray of mustaches and sideburns. Simply brush in this no-drip gel, and in five minutes, rinse. Gray's gone. Your mustache and sideburns blend perfectly with your natural hair color. That gray won't sneak up on me again. Just For Men gel, the sure thing for a natural look. Another Nokia discovery. If technology is difficult to learn or program, most people won't. It's why at Nokia we make wireless phones that are easy to understand and operate with one button scrolling and simple directions. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. My love must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. I only have eyes. Norman Feeney, Pepsi drinker for life. Pepsi, Generation Next. Tied at five. Mark Miller here gets a good look, Jerry. Good ball moving around the circle. He has excellent range, shoots real well from three-point range. Over 44, good out-of-bounds play. Lined up by the Flames. Jimmy Collins called that on the timeout. It worked, two points. Off the inbounds play, Bryant Lowe scores. Give UIC a two-point lead at seven to five. Brown a three. Rims around and out. Rebound, Javis. He puts it in. I saw that real good position there. The defender was playing in front of Javen. As a result, when Brown took the, when Earl Brown took the shot, he had good position to go back up. Goodman averaging 17, 8 rebounds, shooting 48 percent from the field. Miller, a long three is in. Mark Miller with his second home run. He has. Six.
six. And he's feeling it. You can tell. He's really battling around the pick to get that open spot. As a result, he hit his uh, second. If that wasn't a three, he had one three and a couple of uh, twos. That was a two right on the line. Miller giving credit for a three right there, his second, second of the game. So he has six. Foul here on Coons. Second team foul on UIC. Ramblers in inbound. Carlo Gallo to throw in. 7 UIC makes wine out high. Both teams have played man throughout. The Gallo three point range works along the perimeter. Here's Brown playing the two spot. And feeds down low to Bush. And a traveling violation called on down Yale. That's the third turnover for Loyola this day. Great opportunity. Good pass by Errol Brown inside. But you can see the double steps as he goes right there. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Good call by the official right there on the play. I like that. Boom, 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 boom. 10-7 UIC, the lead in the ball. Mark Miller, foul line extended left to Coons. Travopolis also transferred out of Wabash Valley. Down low. Constantine out high for Coons. 12 to shoot. Low will. It's a three. Or it's no good. Damien, his second rebound of the afternoon. Loyola with a three can tie. And makes wine to Brown. Looking for Goodman, posting on low. And Amy in a three. Or it's no good. Rebound down Yale. And a foul call down deep. And Anton Cowles, the senior, and make that junior from Leiden High School. Good. Really aggressive rebounding there by Danielle Bush. He's an excellent offensive rebounder anyway. He has 100 going into the game defense and 55 offense. And Goodman misses a 12-footer, tapped around and controlled by Brian Lowe. Here comes Miller. Lead pass now for Coombs. And Marco reload the offense. Make that Anthony. Marco, of course, is dead. And now reaching foul called here on Carlos Gallo for Loyola. So Gallo picks up his second. Mike Hare at the score table. And he'll come on alongside Brad Tice, the sophomore from Appleton, Wisconsin, and Central Florida. Bush and Gallo leave. 10-7 UIC. Miller comes into Coombs. Now low. Wheels down low. Turnaround shot. Rich high. No good. Rebound deflected and a foul call. That's on Collins. His second. Before the game, Ken Burmeister told me that Brad Tice had a good week of practice. And Brad pumped up his Packers in the Super Bowl. In fact, the entire team uh, will go to Tice's house prior to the Loyola game against Green Bay on Monday and watch the Super Bowl Sunday up in Appleton with Brad's family. Well, he had good position on that particular play. He jumped a little early on it, but he still the position really helped him when the foul was called. 7 UIC. Here comes Earl Brown working around the screen. Brown from 18. Got it! Good Earl move. Brown, his first basket. He came in averaging 12 and the lead now one. Jimmy Collins takes time. It's a 20. Well, you one thing that you gotta like about the, the, the play here, Earl Brown, as you can see, good movement. And, and the Flames are, are converging back on the big men, which gives Earl Brown great opportunities to climb all of the guard positions to get those open shots. And as you look at uh, Ken Burmeister out there, he's got to be happy with Earl Brown's play. I don't know if he's got a scratch under his eye there. Playing so hard, he has just been fabulous for the Ramblers. Both teams are four of ten from the field. Brown averaging 12.6 rebounds, 39 minutes in MCC games this year. He had 12 points, also nine assists in the Loyola game against Detroit. Brown also, by the way, first the MCC in assists, also first in field, 13 now in scoring. 10-9 UIC. And Miller, a deep three. Rims no good. Came in for the rebound. It up. Blocking out real well, Javen, on that particular play. A good man from 18, yeah. And well leads by one. That's what you like about a 6 8 forward that can shoot deep. Goodman now has six of the Rambles' 11 points. Karakalos climbing on here. Inside the flag, the turnaround is high. And good, he got the bounce. That's the 
throw it up high because the defender was right there on it. So flag off the bench. And it gives UIC a one-point lead at 12-11 lanes. Gavin off the right. He'll try a long jumper. That rims off and Coombs is clear. Anthony Coombs on the run. And deflected out by Earl Brown from behind. It'll be playing basketball. Eight minutes gone. 12-11 UIC. Coombs had a, had a step on him. And Earl Brown said, hey, the only thing I'm going to do here is try to get it from behind. And they throw in for Sobropolis. Working on air. And now flag high post at the elbow. Constantine throws it in the roll on. Turnover against UIC. Now the timeout will be taken. And Loyola down by one. It's UIC 12 and the Ramblers 11. 11.46 for the man in the opening half. We're back right after this. Soon, only on CBS 2 Chicago, you'll witness the spectacle as Nagano opens its doors to the world and its athletes. Triumph, passion, glory. Feel the emotion, cherish the moment, catch the spirit. Here's to the 1998 Winter Olympic Games, only on CBS2 Chicago. Share a moment with the world. We're in this thing to win. Hey, that's the way to unload on him now. Keep hitting it. Get a drive going, score some damn points. Jailbreak, jailbreak. Watch the damn ball. We're taking too far. Let's go. Don't miss our Super Bowl special on the road with Hamp and Tommy from San Diego and Las Vegas. Another Nokia discovery. If technology is difficult to learn or program, most people won't. It's why at Nokia, we make wireless phones that are easy to understand and operate with one-button scrolling and simple directions. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. The broadcast rights to today's game have been to Sports Channel by the University of Illinois at Chicago and Loyola University. And a reproduction or rebroadcast of this game without the written consent of UIC, Loyola, and Sports Channel is prohibited. Mark Pinsky, Jerry Harkness, you're looking live at the Joe Gentile Center. 12 to 11, UIC up by one. They throw in for Brad Tice. And both teams are five of 12 on the field. UIC with a couple threes, both by Mark Miller. Miller has six, Gabe Goodman has six as well. Brown lost control, and he's whistled for double dribble. Good, yeah, absolutely. Good call there as he doubles going into the uh, hoop. Kind of had it a little too long. Pretty much should have given it up to the uh, forward. Fourth turnover on Loyola. And UIC with a one-point lead has the ball. Coons off to Miller. Miller out of Westinghouse High School. Got it blocked by Brown. Big play by Earl. There's Nick Swine on the pull-up. Played by the great Kubro. A junior from Zion Beck. And now Nick Swine down low. Blocked inside. Clifton flag a big rejection. On the run, low for two end dunk. Oh, that was an excellent pass. And I, the Flames really run the floor extremely well, especially on rebounds. Even uh, if you make a shot, you get the ball out and get it down real well. That's been the difference thus far in the ball game. Well, it needs a three out of time. Brown takes it baseline. Makes line the hair. Jamin now right up the lane for pink. No good. Rebound deflected around. And out of bounds to Loyola. Javen is an excellent uh, shooter from the outside. But when he shoots from the outside, there's very, very few chances the Ramblers can get any offensive boards. Daniel Bush uh, back in there for Goodman. And Javen, third in the MCC scoring off the third and rebounding. Brown looks, comes in the hair, three point range. And now McSwine a three. It was hard. Rebound deflected. Miller comes away with it. Ran into McSwine. No call. And now Coombs to set it up for UIC. Flames by three. Kimbrough off the right. And now Coombs to low. And working on push. Blocking foul called on Danielle. Good, a 
Good change of direction by Lowe. As a result, got a quick, just a tiny step on Bush as a result of foul. Leonard Walker comes in out of Springfield Land Fear High School every 19 minutes, 11 points, six rebounds over the last couple of games. 14 to 11, UIC. Kimbrough in the lane, deflected out to Coombs. UIC with a new 35. Coombs down deep. About an eight footer off the mark, deflected out. Walker keeps alive for UIC. Here's Coombs, and now Kimbrough. UIC with a small lineup on the floor. Basically four guards with flag. Miller, no, tapped out by Bush. Walker trying to keep alive. It'll be out of bounds to the Rambler. Taking a look at McSwine. We are trying to take, take the ball out. Right now, the difference in the ball game is the Rambler shooting outside a little off. But again, as uh, not to be repetitious, the Flames getting the ball down the court a little bit faster than the result getting easier faster. Rambles with Brown, Bush, Hare, Nick Swine, and Goodman who's back in there. And now a steal by Miller. Nobody back. Mark Miller with a two-hand throwdown. Oh, is he quick. That step, that quickness, good anticipation. That's why he's, he averages over 20 points a ball game. That's why Coach Jimmy Collins says he can go to the next level. And Miller three times this year named the MCC Player of the Week. That's a good month. Absolutely. And push up top to Mike Hare, a long three. Good! One thing about Mike, he doesn't take any bad shots. When he feels he's got it, he takes it. Hare seventh in the MCC in three-point field goal percentage. Lead down to two now for UIC. They had built it to five. 16 to 11, their largest thus far. 16 14 right now. And Miller wants it from 16. Yeah, Mark tough. Miller starting to heat up. Absolutely. He has 10 already. Absolutely. That was tough. He faked to his right, and he gets up so high on that jump shot. 18 to 14, your score. 8.30 remaining, half number one. Roll Brown up top. Now here off to the left. Steps out. That push on the move. Knight in down low. Missed it. Put him in the rebound. He'll it in. Oh, that's a dynamic duo keeping that one alive. Bush taking the shot. As a result, Javen right there to put it back. You might see now with the ball up by a pair. DeAndre Kimbrough, a three is good. DeAndre Kimbrough, they're giving UIC a five-point lead. I tell you, the Flames are just that as far as three-point shooting is concerned. That's why they're one of the best in the nation. Kimbrough, for his career, shooting 38% from the arc. Brown back out to McSwine. Earl, a three. Rim's no good. And Leonard Walker, the rebound. Up the floor to Coons. Now bouncing into Kimbrough. Always shot blocked. And a foul call, it's on Earl Brown. Nope, make it Danielle. Danielle. It's a good defense play, but the problem here is he brings his arm down. If he keeps the arm straight up, then he put a lot of pressure. But when Danielle brought the ball, his arm down, foul call. 7.28 remaining in the half, 21 to 16. A five-point UIC lead. Kimbrough, an 89% free throw shooter, misses the first. They get one more. And meantime, O'Cone and Gallo in there for Loyola. Bryant Lowe for UIC. And Dominique O'Cone, his first activity in some time. He hasn't played the last six games because of a broken hand. So well, he's going to be key down the stretch to give Earl Brown some time on the, on the, on the sideline. And uh, he can handle the ball very well. As also. Kimbrough missing both free throws. Rambler's down by five. Here comes Carlos Gallo. Met the timeline and by Coombs. Here's O'Cone. Oh. And now Goodman walks. He had everything going for him, but he walked. Good pass inside by O'Cone. 7-16 remaining in the half at UIC on top of Ken Burmeister and the Ramblers. 21-16. Our politicians try to reform health care, while too many students aren't getting the attention they deserve. Loyola is at work.
today's youth try to find their role in this world. While some talk about a committed cancer program. Loyola University Chicago, nationally recognized for education and health care, is making a difference. Loyola University Chicago, the experience at this January, feel the power on Media One pay-per-view. You know what it's like to feel power. I do. I have the power. I am Eric Bischoff. I'm building the greatest empire. And I'm looking for more souls to buy. Hell hath no fury like sold out. It's Snickers sold out. Live Saturday, January 24th and only on Media One pay-per-view. Just $99 down and you'll drive away in a quality pre-driven car, truck, or van from MGM Auto Brokers. MGM has the finest pre-driven vehicles in stock. All makes and models, domestic and imports, in every price range. Most cars come with a three-month or 3,000-mile warranty. And at just $99 down, you'll get a quality car at a price you can afford. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. We make car buying easy. MGM Auto Brokers, 6000 Ogden Avenue in Cicero, 708-222-9000. Watching Sports Channel. The UIC by five. Mark Miller has ten points. Two coming off the steal. Oil with six turnovers, Jerry. Well, that's been the difference, not handling the ball well. And when you play against a team like this, who's got 15 wins, you know they're tough. You cannot, you cannot have that many turnovers. No. Took Miller a while to come down. He was so <laughs> high up. Oh, he enjoyed that one, too. He kind of twisted those legs in with there and just enjoyed that one. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. Flames by five flag. Uh, fakes on down Yale. Misses a shot after the offensive rebound. Then he'll turn and shoot good. It's another statistic that uh, the Flames are really kind of dominating on the offensive rebound. UIC, though, for the game, getting out rebounded 14 to 11. And they lead by seven here, their largest of the afternoon. And Javen Goodman lost control. Gallo has it blocked out of bounds by Walker. The Flames have been awfully tough on the inside, creating turnovers. Hey, go. Hey, go. Good defense right there. With 15 on the shot clock inside, UIC has controlled things out, swing the Ramblers by six. Gallo off to the right, inside Danielle, tapped out by Flag with seven on the shot clock. And Coach Burmeister, look at the time, we only got seven. And they come in for O'Cone, the fall away shot rims no good. And the rebound taken out by Leonard Walker. So UIC by seven. Lead pass for Kimbrough. And back out to Coombs. And now Walker back to Coombs. Kimbrough against O'Cone. The fall away shot partially blocked. Walker there. And the turnaround shot by Leonard Walker gives him four and UIC a nine point lead. They're coming up with all the loose balls. Pretty much a lot of offensive rebounds down the stretch, and as a result, they're down by nine. Earl Brown and Mike Kerr are going to check in next whistle for Loyola. Ramblers suddenly struggling on offense. Here's Danielle down the low. Missed the shot, gets it back. He'll power up. Shoot no, but a foul called. Uh, Bush to get two free throws. He stayed with it. First one wouldn't go. He stayed right there, fought it, fought it, and got his second opportunity. Off the rebound, he gets it again, takes the dribble, goes in real hard, and it bounces up. Didn't go for him, but he's on the free throw line. And both teams have five team fouls. Flag with his first. Here's Don Yale. You see his numbers. 75% this season from the foul line. And Bush missing here. He will get one more. Right now, everything going bad. For the Ramblers, the Flames just the opposite. Brown replacing O'Cone. Hare gets Gallo. Mark Miller also back in there for UIC. And Daniel Bush, 16th in the MCC and scoring, 5th in rebounding, also 3rd in field goal percentage. Gets one out of two. And the lead eight for UIC. 535 remaining in the opening half. Coons right of the key goes to Miller. Now they feed low. Left block. All the way on 
good in his hand. Bryant Lowe, that's tough to stop. That is tough, because he goes into you with that body, then comes back. Howden just throws it high. The UIC by 10, Lowe averaging 11 and a half points, eight and a half rebounds against Loyola. Brown fakes the, the jumper, finds McSwine a three, rinse no good, gave in the rebound. And Goodman looks, skips left side for Brown, Earl on the penetration, shovels down low, and Goodman got fouled to get two free throws. Good move to the basket, good penetration by Brown. Got the crowd towards him and then passed off. Two or three guys there to Javen. The foul uh, flag. Ramblers are 8-1 and one when scoring 70 or more points per game. But right now, Jerry, they're struggling in offense. Just 17 so far. That won't win too many ball games. You're right. They're 8-1 and one with 70, and they're not on pace for that. Goodman missing the free throw. Well, luck. One for three from the line so far today. O'Cone back in there, replacing Damian McSwine. McSwine has a three. Hare has a three. Pretty much though, it's been all Goodman so far. He has eight of their 17. That's true, and uh, the, the Rams have to play close to perfection to beat uh, a team like Detroit or UIC. The rebound as Goodman misses both free throws. Javen has been in double figures every game this year. Also, he has five double doubles, including three in a row. UIC by 10. Here's Walker off to the right. Walker from 17 missed it. Rebound Brian Lowe. And back to Coombs. He'll square up. Missed the three. Goodman and for Loyola. 4.30 remaining in the half. Loyola down by 10. Earl Brown comes on a reverse screen. Finds hair. Inside down Yale. Push missed the layup. And low goes to Miller. Here comes UIC. And Miller, they got bumped foul on Earl Brown. That's six on the Ramblers. They kind of cleared that side for Miller. And had Brown and Miller over there on the side alone. And that, that's a tough one-on-one -on -one matchup. Thor Solverson, a freshman from Lake Zurich High School, comes on. And Flag will leave. Flag had a good game. They're really getting good point production from their bench. So they're really deep. Hey, Jason Ayers out of Oak Park River Forest in there as well. And they throw in for low. 27-17 UIC. Flames have won five in a row. Miller on the drive. He has 12. That's too tough to handle. He's so quick, goes extremely well to his right. Almost have to force him to his left. UIC with their largest lead of the afternoon. And Amanico Cohn and off the ball a foul. And Goodman got tangled up with Ayers. And the foul is on Jason Ayers. Jimmy Collins didn't like that one at all. He called his team over. 17 fouls now on UIC, so one and one now for Mike Hare. Hare was 8 of 10 from the field in the Ramblers game against Detroit. He had a career-high 22 points. Out of St. Viter, the East Suburban Catholic Conference MVP his senior year. He kept it close with his outside shooting against Detroit. With that free throw, Hare has now made 9 of his last 10 from the foul line. Loyola so far 2 of 5 from the free throw line. UIC hitless in 3. Mike Hare misses the second of two. Push there for the rebound. Loose on the floor. Danielle has it. Fakes and got it blocked out of bounds by Mark Miller. Wow. It'll be Loyola basketball after we take time. 3.44 remaining in the opening half. UIC up 29-18 on the Ramblers. My love must be a kind of blind love. But you
NFL Total Access is your ticket inside Super Bowl 32. Get on the field in the middle of the action for football's biggest game. You know, the penalty for holding is pretty steep. Total Access, Wednesday at 8 on Sports Channel. Now you know. Another Nokia discovery. If technology is difficult to learn or program, most people won't. It's why at Nokia we make wireless phones that are easy to understand and operate with one button scrolling and simple directions. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. UIC up 11 here in the opening half and uh, check out who's here. A special guest has joined us. The Baron of Barrington, Joe Gentile. Joe, shouldn't you be selling cars today? When I took the day off. Oh, you did. I knew this was going to be an exciting day at the barn, but let me tell you something. If we don't start rebounding, big guy, yep. it's going to be a long afternoon here. How about the crowd here today, the, the, Joe? The crowd, I think, is, is pretty good. Gosh darn it. A little excitement. We're going to be okay. You know, when, I, when I'm sitting next to the world champion, Mr. Harkness, I'm in pretty good shape. There you go. I love you, boys, the both of you. Thank you for having me. All right, Joe. Come out and buy those Chrysler's. You got it. Good to see you. You look good. Joe Gentile, always pitching something, right? Usually it's Chrysler's, I suppose. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, Mark Miller throws in the silver sin and a foul here is on Danielle. Three fouls on Danielle Bush. And he'll likely sit for the remainder of the half. Seven fouls now on the Ramblers. So Cone and Bush leave. They make Swine and Tice come on. And that, that really hurts the Ramblers because Danielle's offense of rebounding and his presence on the board is really, really going to be missed. Silverson makes the free throw. UIC now one of four from the foul line today. 31 to 20 UIC. Under three to play in the opening half. McSwine kills his dribble, finds Brown. Roll looking, here's Goodman on the perimeter. Miller reaching in to miss the foul. <laughs> Jimmy from the Miller said, that's all right. Hey, that's a hustling foul. I don't worry about those. The UIC with 10 points off the bench so far. Ramblers have none. In fact, in MCC games this year, Loyola starters are scoring 93% of their points, also grabbing 88% of the rebounds. Just have to get a little more production from the bench. It's very important. As you look at the Flames in Detroit, they get a lot of production from their bench. Throwing away two on one, Nick Swine. Off the Brown Earl. Off the glass. Missed it. The tip by Goodman wouldn't go. And Solverson clear. Didn't get anything on that. That hurt. Walker will pull up, try a three. Uh uh. Rebound Solverson. Left hand. Lost control. And now a traveling violation called on UIC. Despite the travel violence violations, good, good hustle. As Coach Jimmy Collins, as you see there, he's happy with that. Good up here again. The offensive rebound by the Flames has been the difference. He gets it again. He walks a little bit. He's all out of control there. But good defensive, a good effort there. UIC with full court pressure, and Damian McSwine needs time. The Rattlers take a timeout. We'll keep it here. It's a 20-second timeout as Ken Burmeister looks to set things up against the UIC's full-court pressure. Well, he's a little upset with Mike here, not getting in position to get the ball from, from uh, McQuine out of bounds. But uh, that's, a, that's another good move by the Flames there. They surprise you from time to time with a quick um, full-court pressure. Then they'll back off. Then they'll come back at you. So uh, good, good, good defense by the Flames. McSwine inbound for the Ramblers. 219 remaining in the opening half. It's UIC 31 and Loyola 20. Loyola so far 8 of 29 from the field. UIC up around 
Uh, Goodman will bring it up. Uh, Javen front court uh, picks up. Needs help. Look out for a five call. And finally, uh, Brad Tice pops open. Well, and now mile 11. Uh, two minutes remaining in the half. Earl Brown off the right. Up to Hare. Couldn't be covered up by Coon. Inside Javen. The turnaround shot rims no good. And Goodman over the top of Bryant Lowe to miss the foul. Good blocking out by Bryant Lowe. Javen really trying his best going over the top. As a result, the offensive foul call. Hey, Goodman picking up his second foul, eighth on the team. And Bryant Lowe will step to the foul line for two free throws. Lowe so far has six in the game. He's 0 for 2 from the foul line this season at 67%. Misses again, and Miller inside again commits the foul. Kind of thought they wasn't going to call that at first, but um, good call. Collins has got his arms folded, but it was an excellent call there. Okay, so Mark Miller with two quick fouls as Walker will leave, replaced by DeAndre Kimbrough. And Goodman at the line for Loyola. So Goodman has nine in the game. Constantine Stravopoulos comes back now. They're replacing Miller, who sits with those two personal fouls. It's a ten-point lead here for the Flames. And Goodman missed. There's Brad Tice with the right hand, tipping it in. Oh, that was well-timed, excellent move by Tice. And that's something like that is what a player could need. He could play be very uh, productive from here on out. That turns into a three-point possession for the Rambler. 90 seconds remaining in the half, 31-23 UIC. Low off to the right, turns and faces on Goodman. They got tangled up. Low lost control. Ice deflecting it. Finally, the ball kicked. And it'll turn over to UIC. One thing that you can always tell on couple of teams as you look at the replay here, he tripped on his own feet. Good no call there. Good hustle there. As Tice comes into it, they all having a lot of fun there. Wrong game, football. I told you Tice was pumped up for that yes. Packers game, didn't I? Yes. Kimbrell off to the right. Now Silverson down low. He nearly traveled. Looks like he did. To low. And baseline left around and out. Tipped up, wouldn't go. And deflected out. Finally a foul. That's on Javen. The Ramblers really, really having problems on the offensive board. With Ken Burmeister not happy at all with that call. There's one. There's two. There's three. Part of the problem oh, is Brad Tice is underneath the basket. Yeah, he's right underneath. I mean, literally underneath the basket. So he can't, he's in a terrible position. So Goodman now has three fouls in the game, as does Daniel Bush. 31-23, our score. And 32-23, as Theropolis drops in the free throw. Wayne Plowman now in there for Loyola. Plowman out of Marist High School. 32-23, under a minute to play in the half. So UIC back up 5-10. Again, they pick up full. Tice in the backcourt. Finds McSwine. And Amian on the run. Off the Plowman. And McSwine inside to Tice. Here's Plowman. 15 on the shot clock. 37 seconds remaining in the half. Hare got poked in the eye. Now the official takes time. Coombs obviously got a piece of Mike Hare. No foul called. Instead, just an official's timeout as Hare gets looked at. There it is right there as he goes up for the ball. The official standing right there. You can see the three of them. Should have called that one. He's going up into him. Getting nothing but in the eye. 
Mike now will be looked at by associate AD and trainer Tom Hitchell. Ten seconds remaining in the shot clock here. And uh, Carlos Gallo swoops in for two. Oh, that looks so nice. He had good composure, took the baseline, and just lobbed it over the uh, defenders. UIC by eight. They can play for one. The time remaining and on the game clock. Seven seconds for the half. Low the follow and good. And so low connects. And now makes one. No good. And the half comes to a close. Remember last year, Damian hit one of those. We have played 20 minutes of basketball here at the Joe Gentile Center. Our halftime score is Jimmy Collins and the UIC playing 35 and the Ramblers 25. And back with our halftime festivities. While politicians try to reform health care, while too many students aren't getting the attention they deserve, Loyola is at work. While today's youth try to find their role in this world, while some talk about a committed cancer program, Loyola University Chicago, nationally recognized for education and health care, is making a difference. Loyola University Chicago, the experience at work. You'll be rocking, slamming, sucking, jamming. If you love sports, flat out. Puck Sports News brings you a whole new angle. That's right. That's Van Earl Wright. Weekends. Pageantry. Precision. Perfection. The very best in the world get prepped for Nagano with the Skate International Champion Series Men's and Women's Singles Finals. Coverage begins tomorrow at 2 on Sports Channel. Another Nokia discovery. If technology is difficult to learn or program, most people won't. It's why at Nokia we make wireless phones that are easy to understand and operate with one button scrolling and simple directions. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. Soon, only on CBS2 Chicago, you will witness the spectacle as Nagano opens its doors to the world and its athletes. Triumph, passion, glory. Feel the emotion, cherish the moment, catch the spirit. Here's to the 1998 Winter Olympic Games, only on CBS2 Chicago. Share a moment with the world. 35-25, our halftime score. UIC with a 10-point lead at the intermission. Mark Pinsky alongside uh, Jerry Harkness. And uh, Jerry, so far, Mark Miller's done a nice job for UIC. He has 12. Also, Bryant Lowe with 8. Flames also shooting the ball pretty well. 45% so far from the field. Right you are, Mark. And the other statistic you won't see on, this, on the sheet there is the pickup of Loose balls, the out hustles, the surprise uh, presses off and on. They are just putting together an excellent ball game. Rambles also have some foul trouble. Goodman has three, as does Danielle Bush. Right, you are. And uh, not really getting the ball inside to the big fellas enough also. But you're right. And a lot of reasons why is that the uh, Brad Lowe and the defenders on the inside really match up extremely well. They front Goodman. They got Javen outside. So they're doing an excellent job of defense on the interior. Flames come in 15 and 3, 5 and 1 in the MCC. We check out the MCC standings right now. And you see UIC tied with Detroit for the top spot in the MCC. A Detroit 8 and 1 at home. Butler, meantime, is 11 and 0 at home. Cleveland State has won 7 of 10. Loyola with MCC wins over Cleveland State and Milwaukee so far. Green Bay lost to Butler on Thursday, 78 to 60 in Indianapolis. Wright State, Milwaukee both one and five. Milwaukee beat Wright State 70 to 62, and that on Thursday. So we're at half.
halftime, UIC up by 10. We'll take a timeout right now as you watch the battle of the mascots going on here at halftime. That skates from the Chicago Wolves going up against Elvis. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll hear from athletic director Chuck Schwartz. Flames by 10, 35-25. Must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. I only have eyes. Norman Feeney, Pepsi drinker for life. Pepsi Generation Next. Another Nokia discovery, if technology is difficult to learn or program, most people won't. It's why at Nokia we make wireless phones that are easy to understand and operate with one button scrolling and simple directions. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. The Bull. The Bear. The Issues. The Answers. It's the Bull and the Bear with the Weekend Review every Monday night in the game room. Eric Daze and the Hawks venture into the jaws of the enemy when Owen Nolan and the offensive-minded Sharks patrol the ice. Thursday night at 9 on Sports Channel. While politicians try to reform health care, while too many students aren't getting the attention they deserve, Loyola is at work. While today's youth try to find their role in this world, while some talk about a committed cancer program, Loyola University Chicago, nationally recognized for education and health care, is making a difference. Loyola University Chicago, the experience at work. Welcome back to the Joe Gentile Center halftime between Loyola and UIC. Mark Pinsky joined by Loyola's athletic director Chuck Schwartz are at the intermission. And Chuck, let's talk first of all about January 31st. Big day here. Gene Sullivan, Al Frederick Hughes. Al Frederick, in fact, will have his number retired as we induct 10 more people into Loyola's Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's always an honor, I'm sure, for a lot of past athletes and also Gene Sullivan for this time around to be inducted into to the Loyola Hall of Fame. We're really looking forward to it. It should be an outstanding game against a good Butler team, plus the inductees and the ceremonies before and after and during the game. So we're really looking forward to it. We hope a lot of alumni come back, a lot of Loyola people return. Well, Frederick, in fact, will have his number retired, and he's got to be looking forward to that event. I don't know if Al, Al knows that yet. Oh, he doesn't? That's somewhat of a surprise, uh, I think. should have kept it to, quiet. To Al, but it will be. He'll, he'll add up to our, I think we've got, what, eight now? So he'll be our ninth one, and he certainly deserves it. Leading scorer in the country, first-round draft choice with San Antonio. Great player here at Loyola, and he was probably the reason we got to the Final 16 in 1985. Let's talk about men's basketball right now. It seems as though they're getting very comfortable here at home now, and they've made this place the Joe Gentile. Teal Center and big time home court advantage now six and one at home coming to this game today. Yeah, we've played very well here. You know, I don't think, and we talked about it a lot, you and I, about why we can't play as well on the road. But we do play well here, and, and that certainly this is a big game for us. It would have been a big game if we could have beat Detroit on, on Thursday night, but now their backs are to the wall a little bit if we hope to contend for the upper division of this, uh, the MCC. So we're looking forward to a great game, and I know that UIC is also, so it should be a great game. Great second half here on Sports Channel as well. Now, volleyball, in terms of other sports, 13th in the nation right now for men's volleyball. Also, you got to be proud of your cross-country team as well. Three straight MCC titles there. Yeah, we're very proud of all our programs, Mark. And uh, volleyball now is in season. They be defeated Rutgers last night in three games. And so we're really looking forward to that. They're ranked 13th in the country. We hope they go to Hawaii so I can get there <laughs> at the end of the year. Our cross-country men's team has won three championships in a row. The women were second this year. Volleyball finished second. So we had a pretty good fall. Now we're looking forward to the winter and then the spring. All right, let's talk also about the classroom right now. The graduation rate for student athletes, outstanding, 92%. We're very proud of that, Mark, you know, and I think that this is a, an institution that prides itself on its academics and, and our academic success. So we're over 92 percent. We've got 100 athletes over a 3.0. We've got 10 at 4.0. Uh, so we're very proud of the accomplishments of our athletes, not only 
uh, on the floor, but also in the classroom. Is it true, Chuck, the most enjoyable part of your job is doing the radio play-by-play -play with me? Well, doing the radio play-by-play, <laughs> trying to keep you alert. And I, I know Jerry's going to have a tough job in, during the second half of this game. All right, Chuck, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Mark. That's Loyola Athletic Director Chuck Schwartz. Halftime here between Loyola and UIC. We'll take a break right now and then come back and check out first half highlights. So we'll take a time out. Back with more right after this on Sports Channel. My love must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. next. Soon, only on CBS2 Chicago, you'll witness the spectacle as Nagano opens its doors to the world and its athletes. Triumph, passion, glory. Feel the emotion, cherish the moment, catch the spirit. Here to the 1998 Winter Olympic Games, only on CBS2 Chicago. Share a moment with the world. Traffic is fierce again today. Empire's bringing samples and delivering carpet to homes all over Chicagoland. McHenry to Merrillville, Park Forest to Lake Forest. The roads are packed. Why the crush? For the first time ever, Empire's offering no interest and no payments till 1999. And prices? You'll save 50% and get a free gift. No wonder the roads are jammed. When do I get a break? 588 to 300 Empire. Watching Sports Channel. Halftime at the Joe Gentile Center, UIC by 10, 35, 25 on the Ramblers. Time now to check out our first half highlights and uh, Bryant Lowe off to a good start here early on for UIC, Gary. And the thing about Bryant Lowe, he's so quick, he gets behind the defense an awful lot and he does a lot of the little things. Of course, right there, you see Javen with the offensive rebound, but this is the man right here. Miller, he can hit the three-point play, and not only that, he's quick, and he can do all the other things with his quickness. So excellent, excellent. And here you go as you see him, and he says, hey, I'm taking it all away. Yes, nothing but net on a dunk. And he has just showed his defense and offense as well. Good rebounding there, of course, by Danielle Bush. And we're going to really miss him. The, the Ramblers missed him out there. Matter of fact, a key statistic as we look at the statistics here is the only one that has scored more than one field goal is Javon Goodman. Right. The rest of them has one field goal. Ramblers so far just 10. Free throws, Loyola three of nine from the foul line. Ramblers with two threes, UIC has three. Rebounding is pretty even. Turnovers, Loyola has six, just four for UIC. Points inside, UIC outscoring the Ramblers there, 12 to eight. Second half is coming up from the Joe Gentile Center. And we're at halftime, UIC up by 10, 35, 25. Second half straight ahead, right here on Sports Channel. Must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. Nokia discovery. If technology is difficult to learn or program, most people won't. 
It's why at Nokia we make wireless phones that are easy to understand and operate with one button scrolling and simple directions. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. January 28th, 6 p.m. Witness sports television history. America's most powerful regional sports channels join forces to become Fox Sports Net. 66 professional home teams, national games of the week, shows with Fox Attitude, and Fox Sports News right after the game. National Network, Fox Attitude, on Fox Sports Chicago. While politicians try to reform health care, while too many students aren't getting the attention they deserve, Loyola is at work. While today's youth try to find their role in this world, while some talk about a committed cancer program, Loyola University Chicago, nationally recognized for education and health care, is making a difference. Loyola University Chicago, the experience at work. The UIC by 10 at halftime, 35 to 25. Mark Pinsky with Jerry Harkness. Let's check out our leading scores. Miller has 12, low with 10. Uh, for the Ramblers, Javen Goodman has nine. Mike Hare is next with four points in the first half. Elsewhere today in the MCC, second half now, Green Bay winning in Dayton against Wright State, 69 to 57. Elsewhere today in the MCC, Butler at halftime in Indianapolis on top of the Panthers, 28 to 26. Also, check out that first half score, the Titans on top of Roly Massimino and the Vikings, 39 to 14 in the first half of play. UIC and Detroit tied right now for the top spot in the MCC already this year. The Flames beat Detroit. The UIC 5-1 in the league. In fact, over the last couple of years, they've won 28 and lost just 8. And that's the past 36 games, Jimmy Collins with a record of 28-8. This is also their best start since the 1954-55 season. And that is amazing, Mark, because they've it's a new club under Jimmy Collins, and he comes right in the league and becomes uh, co-coach of the year. Right. I mean, that's phenomenal. So the Ramblers with some work to do, down by 10, 35 to 25. Uh, both teams with their starting crew on the floor. Bryant Lowe turns in face. Against Goodman, he'll wheel down low, missed the shot. And tapped around, kept alive by Stavropoulos. The UIC with a new 35. Remember, Bush and Goodman both out there with three fouls. And Mark Miller nikes in down low, missed the shot. And on you, the rebound. Go Brown to walk it up. Both clubs coming on to the court, you could see the confidence in the UIC and the Loyola being a little bit down, so see how they come out the second half. And Danielle Bush inside with the field goal. Good move to the basket by Danielle Bush. That's what they lose. That's why you got to stay out of foul trouble. Here's Lowe missing. Tapped around to Mike Hare. And Brown will keep it alive on the sideline. Earl on the run. He's mixed wine. Back to Brown. Lowe down by eight. You might see his largest lead, 29-17. Left it short as he tried to avoid the offensive foul. And Miller fakes the three. Enon Hare cut off and finds Collins down low. He'll bank it in. Flames look for the open man. He'll pass it four or five times until they get him. On the other end here, as you look at the Ramblers, and we're really kind of fortunate to be down shooting 31%, 32%, and only be down by 10 early on. Goodman, Javen again in double figures, double figures every game this season. And the lead back down to eight now for UIC. Booms against Brown, and now Stavropoulos for three. That's what makes them awfully tough. Stavropoulos can come on the outside and still, he's shooting around 45 from the outside from three point win. So that's just 18 three of the season in just 38 attempts. Earl Brown went right. Brown now penetrates against low. And low finds his back. A foul called on right. 
Good reverse there by Earl. And he faked, just hesitated and waited to Lowe to come down on him. So Lowe with his second foul. Meantime, Flag comes in there replacing Anton Collins. And it's out of bounds to the Ramblers. Brown throws in for push right corner. Collected by Miller. A mark on the run. Oh, he's it in this time. Oh, he's got awfully quick hands. Really quick hands. Not only quick hands, but quick feet. He's just a talent on the court. And so the Flames with their largest lead. Mark Miller, the steal and score. A 20-second timeout taken by Loyola. We stay here at the Flames 42 and Loyola 29. Off the pass here. And Mark Miller, Jerry, stepping in the passing lane, digging it out from Earl Brown. Then he saves it really nicely there and goes in. Nothing but dunk time. I think he may have lost control. I think he wanted to throw it down a little bit harder. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure he did. He's trying to figure out right there what he's going to do. Two hands. Yuck up. And Miller in double figures for the 18th time this season. Currently 31st in the country in scoring. 21 points per game. And just 11 in the game against Green Bay on Monday, which UIC won 60 to 58. And Miller hit the game winning free throws there. Well, the plays at Green Bay Monday following the Super Bowl on Sunday. It makes fine missing. Brown throws it out of bounds. And they say it was tapped out. Last touch by UIC. Ken Burmeister in his fourth year here at Loyola, former assistant in Iowa and Arizona. And they throw in for a hair. Mike Hare connects at the baseline right. So Mike Hare now with six. His first two point field goal. Now it's tapped out. Last touch by UIC. So the Ramblers down by 11 with the ball. He stayed right there, though. The Ramblers, as bad as they are playing, or you could put it the other way, the Flames playing very well defensively. They are still in the ball game. Ramblers, Jerry, had 12 offensive rebounds in the first half, yet they only had 10 field goals. What's that tell you? That is really telling you a lot. As a matter of fact, they're not really taking advantage of the opportunity to score when they get that offensive rebound. Earl Brown back up the wing to Goodman. Javen wheels down low, avoids the offensive foul, pushed the rebound. They say he walked. That's a, that gives you another idea of really getting your offensive rebound there and not being able to, to uh, score on it instead of turnover. 42-31. Here's Coombs. Coombs with 29 assists to just six turnovers over his last four games. Hello, missing badly. A run down by McSwine. Now Brown on the run. Earl Brown behind the back from 17. Got it! Earl Brown with his second basket. And it's down to a nine-point game. And it is the type of game, Jerry, where the Rambles right now need the crowd to come alive. Absolutely. That's a six man, and that's very important. Don't hold it, but get it down when you're doing well. You can always bring the ball back out. Well, the basketball from this by Coombs. Brown in deep. Shovels to push, deflected. Out of bounds. Last touch by UIC. Well, the basketball, when we come back, 42 to 33. Flames with 15-44 remaining. Regulation time. Back at this on Sports Channel. Loyola wants to ramble on in the MCC, but Keon Brooks and Wright State will be on an all-out assault against the upfront talent from the north side. Wright State Loyola, Thursday at 7 on Sports Channel. Joe Smith helps pound the boards for the Warriors, but they'll meet the NBA's rebounding king in a clash of the titans as the Bulls hope to make Golden State eat glass. Coverage starts in the game room, Friday night at 9 on Sports Channel. Must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. I only have eyes. Norman Feeney, Pepsi drinker for life. Pepsi, Generation Next. 
Westfield Homes presents Country Place, a great place to live in the country with single-family homes priced from the 170s. Featuring parks, ponds, and abundant open space, Country Place is convenient to expressways and nearby Gurney shopping. Westfield Homes provides financing by First Midwest Mortgage Corporation, an equal housing lender, environmental engineering from Charles Greengard Associates, and masonry provided by Hodsko Construction. Single-family homes from the 170s. For a free brochure, call Westfield Homes at 1-800-823-7575. Stay tuned. More college hoops come to way on Sports Channel. Up next, Iowa State, Missouri in a women's game. Then at 5, Stanford takes on Washington. Tonight, Kevin O'Neill, Northwestern, taking on Gene Cady and the Purdue Boilermakers. All after this, right here on Sports Channel, soon to be Fox Sports Chicago. Second half here from the Joe Gentile Center. Mark Pinsky, Jerry Harkness, UIC by 9. And Mike Hare trying to line up a shot. He'll manufacture one and hit a short two. So the Ramblers this half now, five of eight from the field. UIC is three of eight. And the lead down to seven for the Flames. And Miller working on Brown. Back up to low. Coombs. And now Staropoulos. In deep right low. Wheels on Goodman. And gets it back. Low triple team. McSwine nearly had the steal. Eight to shoot. Miller will go to three. Just good ball movement. Kept their composure. McSwine almost got a steal there. But the Flames just took it. Passed it around the circle as a result. Good three. Back up to ten now for the Flames. Damian McSwine, who has just one basket so far. McSwine averaging 13 points a game. He's coming in. And Damian now low. Tipped up good. And they wipe it out. Offensive basket interference on Danielle. Good drive by McSwine. He gets it up. The ball bounce, bounce. Right there. He did tip it in over the cylinder while the ball was still there. 45 to 35. The UIC Coombs. And now Miller on the curl. Inside Danielle Bush with a foul. That's his fourth. Danielle really disappointed in that. Gonna have to make move with 14 minutes to go in the ball game. That's a fight for the ball. That's a tough one. Oh, tough one for Danielle. So Tice back in there for Loyola, replacing Danielle, who will sit with four fouls. We have 14-28 remaining. Off the inbound play, broken up by Earl Brown. Earl on the fly, feeds hair, Mike to the basket. They're getting double team low right, deflected, and a reaching foul called on Clifton Flag. Flag out of Centralia, Kaskaskia Junior College transfer. And Mike Hare has come on, Jerry, since the early going. He has eight right now. I'm sure that Ken, Kenny Burmeister say, hey, we need you to shoot, shoot the ball a little bit. Here's Goodman, he'll fire, no good, deflected by Tyson. And Staropoulos controls. Ed Coombs. And now low. Bryant low backs in on Javen. Broken up. Stripped by Earl Brown with those quick hands. Ahead to Mike Hare. Hare with the right hand. Rims no good. And low the rebound. Ahead to Coombs. UIC with number alley -oop. And it's laid up and in by Constantine Staropoulos. That's a four-point turnaround. McKeer makes that layup on this end, break into that 10 points again. Instead, the Flames come around on the other end and score. UIC back up by 12. Earl Brown, uh, the attack for the Ramblers. Brown first to the NCC and assist in steal. Earl now at the foul line. It's McSwine. A three is good. Amy McSwine with his second home run. And the lead now, nine for UIC. Ramblers stand right in there. Good scoring by McSwine. If he gets hot, that could be the plus that they need. About seven minutes gone. Coombs to Staropoulos. And now Miller, right wing. Inside through the hands of Miller. Out of bounds to Loyola. 22nd timeout taken by Jimmy Collins and the UIC Flames. We stay here. With our score 47 to 38. Let's go back to our MCC scoreboard right now. You see the final Green Bay knocking off Wright State in Dayton 77 to 65. No 
with the victory. Green Bay now two and three in the MCC. And they now wait the Super Bowl also. And they await the Ramblers on Monday. Loyola playing well at home. You see the points 80, allowing just 70 here at home. And their field goal percentage 48%. Also shooting the ball well from the arc as well. 40% from three-point range in the Ramblers. 6-0 at home heading into this week. And with that loss to Detroit here Monday, their first of the season. Also first in eight games dating back to last year. Once again, the Flames putting pressure on. Every time Loyola comes with a run, they seem to, you can bet the Flames have put a little more pressure on. Earl Brown, baseline right. Uh, back to Goodman. Javen finds McSwan. Well, it on by nine. 15 on the shot clock. Goodman, baseline right. Kicks it out to Brown. McSwan, a three. Got it! Amy McSwan with his second three in a row. Ramblers have cut it to six. Plus, they've been in a long time. Javen penetrating real well, kicking the ball back out to Brown. Brown starting and they climb to the bucket. I am low with the answer at the other end. One thing about the playing for, I tell you, the, the scoring is so divided. You got Brian Lowe that can give you scoring. You got Miller. You got Tone. Earl Brown off the right, back to Damian. Now Harold try a three. Rims no good. Coombs on the run. He's got Miller with him. Coombs in on here. Now Peel's back out. Constantine out high. Over to Coombs. UIC by eight. There's Miller. Lock pass over the top. Hang inside. Got a block. Tapped out. Last touch by Brad Heist who got the rejection. So it'll be UIC basketball when we come back. The block inside uh, by Brad Tice coming over to help out. Comment on the floor, UIC up by 8, 49 to 41. The Sox have a new coach and a new attitude. That's it, Rob. Way back. You can put it on the ball. Yeah. You can join in on the fun at SoxFest 98. Be live from the Hyatt Regency with player interviews, insights, and a preview of the 98th season. Plus at 8, hear from the boss as Sox owner Jerry Reinsdorf fields questions from fans in a one-hour special. It's a midwinter dose of everything Sox. Friday night at 7 on Sports Channel. While politicians try to reform health care, while too many students aren't getting the attention they deserve, Loyola is at work. While today's youth try to find their role in this world, while some talk about a committed cancer program, Loyola University Chicago, nationally recognized for education and health care, is making a difference. Loyola University Chicago, the experience at work. Pop quiz time. What Nissan dealer has the best selection? Arlington Nissan! What Nissan dealer has the best prices, then tops it off with the best service? Arlington Nissan! So where should you go for any new Nissan, including the all-new 98 Altima? Arlington Nissan! There's only one, Bob Roman. Class dismissed. Bob Roman's Arlington Nissan in Buffalo Grove, one mile east of Route 53 on Dundee Road. Take time, Cleveland State in Ohio on February 7th. You can be part of that road trip. Call Tom Brennan for more information, 773-508-2569. Loyola and Cleveland State, February 7th. Right here inside the Joe Gentile Center. Capacity crowd on hand with 11.30 remaining. Flames with the lead and the ball. Time to turn around, Bryant Lowe in the rainbow. So Lowe now with 14. He has been UIC's leading scorer in five of the last six games. Had a career high 28 recently against Butler. Flames back up by 10. Brown feeds McSwine. And now Hare covered up by Coons. Mike took a finger in the eye early on, but he's back and okay. Even goes flashy as well. Good, good move by Earl Brown. The defender was fronting Goodman, and he just lobbed it over for the easy basket. Coons up top. It is half. The Rambles are eight 
of 15 from the field. UIC 7 out of 13. And Miller down deep, missed it. And Earl Brown clears. Brown, a real good rebounder. He gets five a game to go along with six assists and a couple steals. 10-30 remaining. Brown, off the next one. Damien has nine so far. Been double figures 13 times so far this season coming in. Mike takes it baseline. Enon flags to no good. Pick up no. Tice again. No good. And deflected to Miller. Brad Tice got his paw up on it a couple of times. Just couldn't get it to drop. He's been hustling. He's been playing really good basketball off the bench. As you indicated, Mark, he's ready for this one. That one could have dropped for him. UIC by eight with 9.50 remaining. Andre Kimbrough. Coombs and Miller, baseline left. And they throw in. Flag on the turnaround. Missed the shot. Javen clears. says, hey, McSwine is hot. He's hit two, three. Now let's give him the ball. Nine minutes left. 51-45 UIC. Well, it needs a stop here. Coombs three-point range. And back to flag for the open shot. Javen with the rebound. His 10th board of the afternoon. So here comes Loyola down by six. They've hung around throughout this ball game, shooting 33%, 22nd ball. This is a key offensive play. Burmeister wants to make it. 8.35 left. Ken Burmeister with a 22nd timeout. Well, with 10 wins this year, they had 12 all of last season. 51 to 45. Sports Channel is about to get an attitude adjustment. Yeah, January 28th. Sports Channel becomes Fox Sports Chicago. And the same award-winning Blackhawks, Bulls, and White Sox covers only now with Fox Attitude. It's a take no prisoners approach to Sports in Chicago. Fox Sports Chicago, home teams, Fox Attitude. Ramblers playing with some attitude right now, especially in the second half, down by six with 8.35 remaining. You want it to get close, Mark. You get it close, you get that six man in the ball game, and that's the crowd, and that can really help you. How about the job Goodman has done this half to avoid that fourth foul? Absolutely, and uh, a lot of times you get breaks on that, but he has done very well. Earl Brown on the dribble. Brown three-point range, barely lost it. Finds Mike here. Eight on the shot clock. Brown in the lane, inside the tight. He'll dump it off the dip, and he missed it. Javen uh, missed the easy two. That's the hard one, though. I tell you, when you're coming back like that, one, you need that good pass, though, by tight. And that would have cut it to four. And now UIC with a two can take an eight-point lead. Low, they deflect it out. Last touch by Javen. It'll be playing basketball. Oh, Burmeister upset about that one. Couldn't see it from here. Here's one a look more at time. it. Both battling for it. Mm, might have been off of Bryant Lowe's foot. I thought it from here. I really thought that. 51 to 45. We're coming right back. It's a winter party for the summer game. Sox Fest 98 is coming to the Hyatt Regency Chicago January 30th through February 1st. Meet Frank Thomas, Albert Bell, Robin Ventura, and other Sox stars. It'll be great fun for baseball fans of all ages. Tickets and Hyatt hotel packages now on sale. Call 312-565-0769. NFL fans know all about the Gridiron's fierce warriors. Their passion, power, and panache. But what about punchline? Wow, you're a lot of men, I'll tell you that. Do you consider the kickers part of the team? Uh. <laughs> Don't miss a special Offsides at the Super Bowl, premiering Saturday, January 24th at 7 p.m.
No comedians were harmed in the making of this show. Suffering from cabin fever? Then it's time you escape to Daytona Beach. There's 23 miles of sunny shores, as well as Daytona USA, golf, fishing, and culture. Plus, Central Florida's top attractions are all within an hour's drive. To find out more about all there is to see and do at Daytona Beach, call for a free visitor's guide. Daytona Beach, big beach, big fun. You're watching Sports Channel. 45 UIC. You see that guy wearing a brand new Loyola Chicago Reebok t-shirt. And they were passed out to the first 400 students today who brought canned food into the Joe Gentile Center. 51-45 our score. Under eight minutes remaining. DeAndre Kimbrough right side finds Lil. Rambles this half carry have done a good job defensively as Coons misses a three and Brad Tice clears. Done a good job on the defensive glass. Yes, they have, and that's been a difference there. And Brad Tice has been an addition in there. His presence has been felt. Well out rebounding UIC 36 to 30 for the game. Despite the foul trouble on Bush and Goodman. Well down by six. Here's McSwine. He'll dump it off the hair. And out around. Earl in the lane. The follow away is good. Good composure by the Ramblers there. Earl Brown going to his left nicely, lifting up. And the fans, that sixth man is getting into it. Could make a difference. The Gentile center now rocking. Flag inside, blocked by Tice, cleared by Goodman. I told you, Brad Tice, he's playing the game of his life here in, in a Rambler uniform. He's really been, really, his presence has been noticed. Ramblers on a six to nothing run to cut up the four. Kimbro to steal on Brown. DeAndre Kimbro missed the reverse layup, but flag is there for the putback. Even Brad Tice on that, at least he stopped the first one, but of course he couldn't get the other, but just playing awfully hard. Ryan now at the point for Loyola, and Damian on the dribble. Picks up by Mike Hare, Loyola down by six. Goodman gave it for 15. There's no good. And flag the rebound. Six minutes remaining. Flames by six. Here comes Coons. Coons made the MCC newcomer team a year ago. Kimbrough matched up with Mike Hare. Now low, the fall away. Around and good. Up with the big basket every time. Brad Lowe, he is excellent and he's just hustled. He's only 6'5. All of his uh, competitors are usually faster, but he uses it quickly. And McSwine along three, in and out, rebound deflected. Goodman tips it, and Miller will keep it alive and knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Miller. Out of bounds to Lowe. They say it hit Miller last. Yeah, as you look at Jimmy Collins, uh, Miller was going up court before he realized that Brown was right there, and that was a good move by Brown to be right there. And as a result, Miller lost it. And McSwine out high, calls a play. Deep possession here. Old Brown left wing. Daniel Bush. Good position. This is going to go down in the wire. 55 to 49. 445 remaining. And a reaching foul called here. Fouls on Javen Goodman. And fourth on Goodman. Tice now will come back in. Goodman will get a rest on Yale back in there playing with four fouls. Good move by uh, 
Ken Burmeister, he'll have him right back in. He'll get a breather. He'll think about it. Make sure he knows he's got four. Guy. He's a tough cookie. He's a good interception coming up right here. Bang, and that's not right there. 3.58 remaining. Earl Brown is fine. Come back for the finish. UIC 55, low up 49. We're in this thing to win. Hey, that's the way to unload on him now. Keep hitting it. Don't miss our Super Bowl special on the road with Hamp and Tommy from San Diego and Las Vegas. January 28th, 6 p.m. Witness sports television history. America's most powerful regional sports channels join forces to become Fox Sports Net. 66 professional home teams, national games of the week, shows with Fox Attitude, and Fox Sports News right after the game. National Network, Fox Attitude, on Fox Sports Chicago. This week on Bull Sox Underground, he's a rebounding maven, a defensive stalwart, and always unpredictable. But what makes Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman? Then, see how the media phenomenon that is the Bulls is a whole lot different from the NBA's past. Kick out the jams and feel the groove as we take you inside Frank Thomas's recording studio for an exclusive. All that, the Week in Review, and much more on Bull Sox Underground. Tomorrow night at 8 on Sports Channel. Underground. Underground. Sports Channel's coverage of Loyola basketball is brought to you in part by Pepsi, Generation Next, Harris Bank, helping you make better choices, CBS2 Chicago, Reebok, anything's possible, and by Nokia, a proud sponsor of the Midwestern Collegiate Conference. And back live inside the Joe Gentile Center, Mark Pinsky, Jerry Harkness, the UIC with a six-point lead, 55 to 49. Flames have the ball. And this is DeAndre Kimbrell. Important stop here. Carlos Gallo in there for Loyola, giving Earl Brown a rest. And Kimbrell calls for steps. We have about four minutes remaining, and so far in this game, seven different starters have gone just about the distance. Goodman has played 33, Brown 34, McSwine 34. In the meantime, for UIC, Bryant Lowe has played 33, Miller 33, and Coons 34 minutes. Now this is a big ball game, and both trying to stay with their starters as much as possible. Earl Brown to work it up for Loyola. Huge possession here for the Ramblers. They're down by six. Closest Loyola was this half was five at 46 to 41. And you'd like to see the ball go inside as much as possible. You've got a couple of options there. You can get the foul, and then you get the, the basket. But you'd like to see it go inside. Shot clock down to 12. Earl Brown nearly got it stripped. Brown throws it up top for Nick Swine. He'll try a three. It rims no good. And Bush keeps it alive. To McSwine, back to Danielle. Good hustle. Play. good hustle. Just good hustle there. Well, with a new 35 round, scoops it in. Now they got that basket because of the tremendous hustle. You can't see Coach Burmeister. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a stop right here. 250 remaining. Flames 5 4. Big, big shot. 
by Miller. A two points, but it's a big shot. And he's calm and collective about it. Don't get excited. He's on the line there. Good. Nice lift. A big shot. So give Miller a two. He has 19 seven this half. You might see again. Full court pressure. Every possession is very important. You have to get the score as far as the Rams are concerned. Down on the dribble. Earl now across the lane. Two big swine. And Mike here left wing. Comes around a screen. And Amy big swine. He's at 3-3 three, three so far. Ten on the shot clock. Two away for the game. Well, it out by six. Big swine a two. It's no good. Gave in the rebound. He scores. He fought for that one. There were players all around him, pulling at him, grabbing at him, beating him in the chin, and he fought for that one. As a result, he got two. He deserved it. Pushing, a lot of pushing, grabbing, and popped in the chin there, but he said, hey, I'm determined. I need this one. Just good effort there. He kept the ball up. Good basket. He, Ramblers need a basket. Now they need a stop. Very important. 57-53. The Ramblers taking time with a minute 59 remaining. Again, Dermeister trying to uh, diagram something and defensively for the Ramblers. They hope to get a stop. Uh, you see the story there. Possession of favoring Lil. Well, UIC has two full plus a 20 remaining. Well, with one full remaining. And check out the team fouls. It's possible, Jerry, this half, neither team will be in a bonus situation. Bonus situation with two team fouls apiece. But uh, I uh, I would imagine Kenny there is trying to figure out Ken Burmeister, who will get the ball. And they anticipate it will probably go down to low or come out to Miller. So he is really diagrammed to defend those two players. Mark Miller has. Right low with 16. And meantime, the Ramblers led by Javen Goodman. 17 points, 12 rebounds. And McSwine has 11 for Loyola. And Mark Miller and the UIC Flames with a four-point lead, 57 to 53, with a buck 59 remaining. And Loyola now going to apply some full-court pressure, man-to-man -man defensively, it appears. Just a mile, just a little bit, just a little bit to let them know they're there. Coombs to bring it up against Earl Brown. Here we go. A minute 50 remaining. Flames 57, Ramblers 53. In the hands of the man they wanted to be in. Constantine Stavropoulos inside to Miller. It Miller is. with 14 off the mark. Got the offensive board. Ryan Keep. Lowe keeps it alive. UIC with a new 35. And Jimmy Collins takes a 22nd timeout with a minute 25 remaining. 57-53 UIC. 22nd timeout on the floor. Ramblers coming in have won six of nine. And they're six and one here at home. UIC 15 and three, five and one in the MCC. Winners of five in a row. And don't forget, up next right here on Sports Channel, Iowa State, Missouri in a women's game. Followed at five o'clock by Stanford and Washington out of the Pac-10. And then a Big Ten game featuring a Northwestern and Evan Eschmeyer against Purdue. That game will be in West Lafayette. 57-53 with a minute 25 remaining. Shot clock at 27, by the way, after the offensive rebound by Lowe. Miller with a lob pass and a foul on push. He's done. And Danielle disqualified with a minute 25 remaining, picking up his fifth. The Bush will sit down with five points to go along with 10 rebounds in 23 minutes. Uh, as you saw there, the, the pass from out of bounds by Miller was really high, so Danielle said, hey, I got a shot at this one, and I could take it all away, so he gave it, he took the opportunity. So the Flames now with a new 35, 57-53, Coons out high. And you can be sure they're going to use most of that time. Remember, each team just two fouls this half. realizes that as well. Are you saying, hey, maybe you can get
get a chance at a steal here. Lob pass. Walker. They give him a timeout. And they say no timeout. It'll be Loyola basketball. They say he was juggling the ball. Now one more time. What do you think? There it is for one hand. Leonard Walker trying to call timeout. They don't give it to him. And with 59 seconds remaining, the Ramblers have it trailing by four, 57-53. Big possession, to say the least, on this play. The Ramblers have to score. The delay right now is for the shot clock, which went out on UIC's end. Which is okay on the other end, on the Ramblers end. Ken Vermarsh right now calling his troops over as they try to fix the shot clock. 59 seconds remaining at 57 to 53, and right now the officials are going to send everybody over to their respective huddles. That's a good, that's a good move. Collins, uh, as you can see there, telling his player, hey, let's use our heads. Very important down the stretch. So a timeout, 57 to 53, with 59 seconds remaining. Well, we'll take on Butler on January 31st. And the game tips off at 4 p.m. at halftime and induction ceremony. Also an alumni game at 1.30. Corky Bell, Al Frederick Hughes, also Gene Sullivan among those that will be inducted into the Loyola Hall of Fame. And also John Riley will receive a special award as well. That's at halftime of the Loyola Butler game. Elsewhere in the MCC, second half, Butler on top of Rick Cobb and Milwaukee, 66 to 47. And meantime, Detroit leads Cleveland State 62 to 52. So the Vikings have rallied a bit. Remember, early on, they were getting hammered. Reminds to giving last minute, last second instructions, really. But isn't that going to be nice to see Gene Sullivan and Corky? Corky, I think, was from New York. They came through here. Gene Sullivan, uh, did an excellent job, and of course, that, that one guy that took all of my records and just eliminated them, Al Frederick Hughes. <laughs> I, in fact, interviewed Al Frederick <laughs> when I was working in the CBA, but Al Frederick went on to have a pretty good career, a little bit in the NBA, and a lot overseas, plus some in the CBA as well. He was an excellent ball player. As uh, Chuck Spore said, he had a lot to do with the Ramblers going to that final uh, 16. See, Tom Isaac and company working on the shot clock right now. I tell you, Mark, you, you would want to, uh, Coach Burmeister would, would, might be talking about getting a quick shot so at least they get another opportunity if it comes. 59 seconds remaining. It's 57 to 53. UIC up by four. In this half, the Ramblers have done a great job defensively on the flames, limiting them to just 22 points. Did an excellent job. A lot of adjustments by that man right there, Ken Burmeister, at halftime. And as a result, the Ramblers are right in it. UIC, by the way, 13 and 1 when they score 70 or more points per game. They uh, most likely won't get 70 today unless, of course, they go to OT. Also, 12 and 0 when they shoot more free throws than the opposition. So far, the Flames have shot 8 compared to 9 for the Ramblers. Plus, Jerry, UIC is 12 and 0 when they rebound the opposition so far they've been beaten on the board 40 to 34 and I think it's that little plug right yeah, there that was the problem plug is making the difference yeah that's what it'll come down to and it can make a difference uh, in a ball game the little thing uh -huh. uh, the 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 extra hustle around the bat picking up the loose balls can make the difference as the case right here and a, a little, little wire a little wire can too. make the difference all the lights go out everything I was kind of looking at uh, Lynn Mitchell there. He's got all of his family here from South Bend. He introduced them to him. And uh, all of them were football players. Lynn oh, yeah. was the only basketball player. It'll be Loyola basketball as soon as we fix the shot clock. 57 to 53 is our score. UIC up by four. You see the shot clock dead on that one end. The other side is working fine. What may have to happen, Jerry, if they don't fix it, is work both ends without any shot clock, and the PA guy will just go 
read off the times remaining to shoot. Right. Bulls game last night on Sports Channel. What a finish. Oh, what a finish. I'd say the Bulls uh, had an excellent finish. And my Pacers from Indianapolis, you know, I gotta put, they had a big win over Utah. Right. Uh, they were down 15 at half and came back. Yeah, everybody, you hear the cheers from the crowd. You know that reason. Clock is six. All right, so the shot clock is indeed operating. In the meantime, this delay could help the Ramblers. Remember, we talked about uh, the minutes their starters have played. And they got a few minutes to take a breather right there. 58.9 remaining. Well, it down by four UIC with full court pressure. Ramblers with three team fouls. Claims just two this half. And the one thing, they're going to try to keep it out of Earl Brown's hands if they can. Couldn't do it, though. You see, Brown. he lost his dribble. And back to Tice. Lost his dribble. Here's early. You gotta hurry. Tice will bring it up by himself. Oh. And now McSwine. Here we go. Well, it out by four. Huge possession. And McSwine baseline right. Reaching foul called on Coons. And that'll reload the shot clock. So that's a good foul. 42 seconds remaining. Flames can do that a few more times. That's a good foul. He knew he was beaten. They're, they're not in the bonus, so he said, hey, let me get the foul. Brown looking needs help. Hits Mix Wine and Amy in three point range. Mix Wine on the penetration. Back to Javen. A good man. Two Mix Wine. A three. In and out. Rebound deflected. Low the rebound to Miller. And a foul called on Brad Tice. Only the fourth on the team. Oh, that was a good rebound by Lowe. Excellent rebound. Good position underneath. You take a look. He's pushing him back. He's got great position on Tice. <laughs> With that miss, McSwine, 4 of 16 from the field. 30 seconds remaining. And Miller in the backcourt. And a foul. That's the fifth on the Ramblers. Good defense by the Flames on that possession. And as a result, uh, McSwine had to take a long jumper. UIC by four, a two-possession game. Coombs to Miller. And a backcourt foul. 16 fouls on Loyola. Finally, the next one. And UIC will get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Burmeister putting in Ocone. He's got a little more quickness in the lineup. Low fouled uh, by Tice. UIC as a team, 71% from the foul line. Bryant Low, 67%. And now Javen comes back in the ball game for O'Cone because of the obvious reasons. He's a better offensive, good rebounder. Low so far, 0 for 4 from the foul line today. 25 seconds remaining. Back to bounce. He's played an excellent ball game under pressure. Now, once again, you wonder about this guy. His, his reason for success is a lot of desire. He's got quickness, but desire and determination, because he's only 6'5". Well, knocks in both free throws to give him 18, and Jimmy Collins takes the time. It's a full. I think one of the things is to put pressure on the Ramblers, but don't foul. 59-53, UIC, a timeout on the floor. My love must be a kind of blind love. I can't see anyone but you. Pepsi drinker for life. Pepsi. 
Media One's made some children and family friendly changes to our channel lineup. Each week in January, we will feature one of these great services in a coloring celebration in Total TV. Kids ages 4 to 12 can color these pages and enter to win prizes courtesy of the featured networks. Plus, one grand prize winner will see their artwork on a future cover of Total TV. Also, look inside Total TV for information on some fun and exciting family events where Media One customers receive special discounted admissions and other prizes because families are number one with Media One. Just $99 down and you'll drive away in a quality pre-driven car, truck, or van from MGM Auto Brokers. MGM has the finest pre-driven vehicles in stock. All makes and models, domestic and imports, in every price range. Most cars come with a three-month or 3,000-mile warranty. And at just $99 down, you'll get a quality car at a price you can afford. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. We make car buying easy. MGM Auto Brokers, 6000 Ogden Avenue in Cicero, 708-222-9000. Watching Sports Channel. With Jerry Harkness and Loyola's finest, Tom Lysak, that would be Mark Pinsky here at the Joe Gentile Center. 25 seconds remaining. It's 59 to 53. UIC with a two possession lead. Earl Brown off his foot and out of bounds. Oh. <laughs> Earl is Joe so disappointed with himself on that play. That pretty much will do it. 23 seconds left. Wings by six, and Miller takes a timeout. So UIC calls time. Uh, we'll stay here with 23 seconds remaining. Flames up by six, 59 to 53. Miller with 19, two below his average. Bryant Lowe has 18, one above his average. And for the Ramblers, David Goodman with 17. Lowe has a full timeout remaining. Flames just three team fouls this half. Possession arrow, as you see, favors Loyola. What's amazing, Jerry, about this game is only 19 free throws total have been shot. UIC, 6 of 10 from the foul line. Loyola, 3 of 9. So all the officials are letting them play, really let them play this particular ball game. A little physical as we look at the Lady Ramblers there. <laughs> 59 to 53, 23 seconds remaining. Loyola coming into this game, scoring 80 points at home on average, 53 here today. So you have to give the Flames defense a lot of credit. Absolutely. Uh, those, that's one thing that the Flames is not, if it's a weakness, and it's not a real bad weakness, is their, their defense. But they have really turned it up today. Their hustle and their quickness uh, just could not be denied today. The UIC ball. And Constantine with it finds Coombs, and Coombs quickly fouled. What's amazing about Coombs is the fact that he has yet to score. Mm. Seven assists, however, for Anthony. He's 0 for 6 from the field, missed a couple of threes. Well, he averages right close to 13 points a game. Yeah. And I tell you, that, that's an indication of a good ball club. When you get one of your three key talents offensively not score from the field and you still uh, come up with a at this time a six point lead a seven point lead that is fantastic. Anthony Coombs with a couple of free throws giving UIC an eight point lead here comes Jamie McSwine for Loyola trips up and a holding foul here on Teropolis it'll be out of bounds to the Ramblers 13 seconds remaining 61 to 53 Loyola takes on Green Bay Monday. UIC at home on January 29th against Butler. A good man with the long jumper, no good. Deflected around. Good man lays it up and in. Jamin has 19 in the game, and the Ramblers got the clock. 3.2 remaining. 61 to 55 is our score. Loyola's next TV game. Uh, Fort Chicago, January 29th to Thursday, Wright State here to take on the Ramblers beginning at 7 p.m. Also, by the way, Jerry, the Bodines will be in concert Monday right here at the Joe oh. Gentile Center. The Bodines at 9 o'clock for students and faculty only. That'll be nice. You look at the flames there and 
they're really happy. They know pretty much that they got this one, but uh, a good effort by the team. Very deep. They got good help from the bench. Flag there, as you see there. Didn't play a lot, but when he was in there, he played very well. UIC with this win will improve to 16 and three. Go to six and one in the MCC. Make it six in a row. Ramblers, meantime, will fall to 10 and 10. Two and four in league play. Also dropped to six and two here at home. 3.2 remaining. Some of the folks heading for home. 61 to 55 is our score. Wyatt low at inbound. Flames up by six. The home run ball <laughs> goes it all the way into the third row. <laughs> I could see that one starting there with Walker. Brad Tice was on him there, and that's tight. And Walker was trying to come forward towards the ball, and then he took off. So Lowell needs two threes somehow fast. They won't get it. Good thing missing, and this one comes to a close. So the Flames win it. Lowell by a final score of 61 to 55. The UIC now 16 and 3, 29 and 8 in their last 36 games. Stay tuned, more college hoops comes your way on Sports Channel. Coming up next, it's Iowa State and Missouri in a women's game. And then live at 5, Stanford and Washington out of the Pac 10. And at 7, Northwestern will take on Gene Cady and Purdue. Once again, the final score, UIC 61 and Loyola 55. For Jerry Harkness and our producer-director, Dave Bulldog-Turner. Now Mark Pinsky saying goodbye for now. The preceding has been a presentation of Sports Channel. This just in, football legend William Refrigerator Perry is returning to the NFL. They're working out the contract details at this very moment. Okay, Fridge, here's our demands. Three submarine sandwiches for every sandwich. Three submarine sandwiches for every sack. A box of cupcakes for every hurry. And a box of cupcakes for every hurry. And two deep dish pizzas for every tackle. Fridge, you want to be legit, you got to get the double cheese and the anchovies. Good point, baby. Man, those guys are good. <laughs> State Missouri just underway in the Big 12 here at the Hearn Center in Columbia. Bill Land, Nancy Lieber, McCline with you. No score, a minute 59 into the ball game. And Iowa State with possession of the basketball. Put it play Jamie Olson, 6 1 senior from Bettendorf, Iowa. Leads the club in scoring at 15 points a game. They have so much balance when you have four players in double figures and you've got such a prolific inside outside game. It's really hard to guard you. Bartz gives it up. Grim misses freeze. 19 on the shot clock. On the drive, and which way is it going? And we're going to have a foul against Missouri on the drive by freshman Megan Taylor. See, the way, the way Iowa State runs their offense right here, see, they set a lot of on-the-ball screens. If you're the defense, as you see the foul, you must jump to the ball handler and almost let them take you over the screen because if you get caught behind it, you're going to be pinned back. And that's what allowed Taylor to get to the foul line. Nancy mentioned balance for Iowa State. Taylor, good example, a freshman.